Okay, the point is, is what this movie, no, stop. stop. Wait a minute, what planet did they just go on? And they're like, oh, we're pretty sure we just found out that there was life on it. Moon. No, it wasn't the moon. <laughs> it was like a planet. Like a like a planet it, we just went to. Isn't a moon a planet? I thought the moon was a star. I'll edit this bitch out. If I like see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a tortured individual. Soul? Demons. Tortured soul? No. Demons. Demons. Something bugs you a lot? You know, this is a great way to put him. You know, like an like a, a really famous author? I think of a really famous one. Think of hanging out with them. How would it be? That's not what, that's not what I'm No, thinking. no, it's literally <laughs> like that. That is exactly how he is. Like, think of a really dark author that writes some amazing stuff but they get they get so into it that sometimes it changes who they are mm -hmm. that's kind of how he is so he he's just sometimes he gets really deep into who he is and then other times he's good do you mean so do you mean what pe what he thinks people are thinking no. about him like no it's, his... it's all with him it's not has nothing to do with anybody around him it's within himself I don't care much about what he starts battling this demon inside there. And that's when you just want to leave him the fuck alone. <laughs> Tell me what that means, Leo. What's going on in your head? It gets cloudy. Like, so this morning, obviously this morning's a good example because you're going through it right now. <laughs> so when you woke up, Did what happened? my eyes change? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they? Mm -hmm. Are they red? Mm -hmm. You just look like a bully. Kind of, yeah, a you bully? know what? A bully? bully look like. Or you mean a bull? A bully. Oh, What's a bully? A bully it seems like you're just in a bad mood and you want to take it out on everyone. <laughs> Is it because of what I'm saying or how I'm my body language? Because I'm all, very, all the above. I'm open, I'm relaxed. You're open and relaxed, but you're not. You're thinking you are. You're still throwing off a vibe that's slap, bitch slapping me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dramatic. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. No, it's dark. It gets very cloudy with you. Like what, though? Yeah, just name it. It doesn't take much. And what do you do? I see, internalize. I yeah. feel like this all the time. That's why I, I, have, I have a tremendous amount of hatred and anger. Yeah, but where do you put it? Inside. <laughs> he looks down. No, yeah, inside. A, in, inside. Inside this. <laughs> I feel that way a lot. So I, I can't, stay busy. I can't, and then you combine that with, I can't tolerate stupid shit. And, and I do it, but I can't tolerate that either. But what's that's the reason why I go in my car and, and I start yelling like a fucking madman because I can't tolerate that shit. What's stupid shit, myself. though? Is it stupid shit or is it just shit you don't like? Both. I hold the above. Does that sound like your answer? <laughs> Am I morphing into you, Charles? You sound like me. So I want to, I morphing feel like. one. Uh, yeah. Do you have a ring? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Not with me, but I do. Um. Anyway, so that's. What gets you out I, of it? I shouldn't, I, I've said it before, I shouldn't be this angry. What gets you out of it? Nothing. Just time? Yeah. Just, You'll just feel better one day? Himself. He'll get himself out of it. Maybe you need to do something new. It's been a minute. What do you got in your brain? Something new. You've done everything. Like real books. I need to get you an acting thing, huh? I'll get you in a movie. <laughs> I'll, I'll Are you going to save my life? Uh-huh. You're going to save my attitude? For a little bit. I think you like doing new things. And I think you like excelling at new things. And I know an acting thing. Let's talk about your acting thing. Because this side of our crew may not know, fans, viewers, whatever, may not know about your, <laughs> your, uh, don't give me that look like I'm trying to put you on the spot. I'm not. I just want to. Just use your words, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, when you went for a homeboy's movie, The Bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. What about? Don't say what about. It's a cool story. You used to train uh, Kevin, Kevin, Superman's Pop. dad. Yeah. Who? Superman. Kevin, mm -hmm. I, I, you lost me. Oh, you, I, I'll try to. Send, I'll let you borrow the movie. Um, the new Superman movie. Uh -huh. He was his Earth dad, his real dad. Kevin well, no, was. His, uh huh. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why I always say that. You're like, I was like, you trained Superman's dad. 
So who was his dad? His uh, his Earth dad was Kevin, and then his so his, Kevin was the Earth dad. Uh huh. And the other dad was uh oh my god, I'm, I'm blanking oh, on that. That was name. a movie. Mm hmm. I never heard of that movie. So you guys went to school together, right? Yeah, they came to uh, high school that I went to. He was there one year. His dad worked in a. Uh, he was a he. He worked for SCE like a lineman. Russell Russell Crowe was his uh his planet dad, his what alien was the dad. The movie Man of Steel. I'll be damned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good too. It's really good. I like it. I enjoy it. No, I was uh, your homeboy right there, right? Yeah. 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 I told you in the in the uh, yearbook we're right next to each other. Yeah, Costa Costa. So, uh, you know, since I've met you, Leo, I've always thought you've been great in front of camera. Always since the first time out here, you know. And I think you've only got better. Well, the thing about it is, is what you think, and I think it's, uh, it's pretty normal. What we think of ourselves compared to what other people think sometimes is. Really I watch a lot of people in front of camera. That's I know, my job. But it's I wish that I could feel like. What you think. Oh, what yes, yes. Oh, man. You know, you know what what's so funny? The other day, me and Mike were talking, my best friend, the one since third grade. And I was telling him, <laughs> never mind. I don't want to. <laughs> I, what? Oh, wait, you have <laughs> well, she, I just feel she, stupid now. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. So uh, we were talking, and basically, he was just like, we were so. <laughs> just use your words, Charles. Just go right to the point. I don't know how this subject came up. It doesn't matter. Okay. So he was just like... Who's this now, Mike? Mike. Okay. Friend since third grade. My best friend. Gotcha. The one okay. that when we don't talk for like a day, we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll call two hour okay, conversation. I'm on. I okay. So we were, I was hanging out on this house Saturday or Sunday and we were talking and uh, I think it was about like girls. And... Uh, like girls? Like we were talking about girls. Or okay. Something. Like on that conversation. Gotcha. And he was saying something and I was like what what do you mean bro like you have confidence with girls and he's like i'm not like you and i was like what do, what do you mean and he's like you're very like outgoing and confident and shit and i was like he was the to fuck you. i am yeah and i was like I, so we both had different uh opinions and views of yes each other. yeah, yeah. yeah so I it's always amazing thought, yeah it's interesting how other people view you mm -hmm. compared to how you view yourself i don't think you know well you i don't think, think you're good in camera i think i'm I'm okay now. I'm better. I'm more comfortable because I've gotten over the. I told you my first time I did this video, mm -hmm. the other business, it like shocked me. I See, you mean, we talked about this last week. You saw my first video to kind of my last video, one of the later ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just takes being, I still, but I don't feel confident. But I know when I did Driver, it helped me get a job. It, it, uh, a lot of people were like, dude, you've got really good. And I'm like, I, I don't feel the difference. You know, I still feel like the same. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's, it's really, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but that shocked me when Mike said that because I was like, dude, we've been friends for like our whole lives. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought you would know Mike. how I feel. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't really know. This is kind of like that first one we had where uh, that, that podcast where I was like, what did I say exactly? When you're looking in the mirror and I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? You remember? Yeah. Yeah. And then we were talking about how how we look at ourselves compared to how others oh, yeah. look at ourselves. That's a weird thing. Yeah. That interview was, or that, what do you call it? Not an interview, but um, uh, it's a, when you go do something like that. Audition. Audition, yeah. Those are, those are hard. Those I, are hard. I never want to act like that, but yet I think we all act. It's just being comfortable enough to separate that. People act all the time. Elvis Presley sang a song about life is nothing more than a stage. I just heard that he was playing a part. He almost wrote none of his songs. Just read it. I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me. I was like, what? Yeah, for sure. Definitely with social media now. Um, I know people where I'm like with them that day and I know their life and everything. And then they'll post like an hour later and I'm like, this is not you. This is not you. It bugs the fuck out of me. Like, I feel like if you look at my Instagram and then you know me, you're like, that's, that's him. Like, I don't put nothing. Yeah. But I think, I think saying? that you say, I see you over there. Like, <laughs> no, look at those eyes. Did you see no, those eyes? I wasn't thinking that at all. I think you're, you're completely accurate. 
I think, yeah, but I don't think I think I don't think you have to be authentic all the time. Why not? In though? my opinion, I I'm not authentic to most people. I don't want them to really know who I am or what I'm thinking. You're saying that, and you didn't blink, and you were just staring into my fucking eyeballs <laughs> the whole time. So are you telling me that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, it's actually a tactic. I feel for like people not to get to know me. I don't want people really to get to know me. My best trait, because I don't have a lot of them, is like don't I'm, say <laughs> that, Charles. That's the meaning. <laughs> I'm super. I think you have a lot of good traits. I'm super honest. Like I'm just gonna be straight up. Like this is who I am. Because I'd rather you just like me than me be fake and then like have to work. So I don't want to work. To me. Yeah, but then you have to work because you're fake all the time. No, I don't want it's very easy for me. I've done it for so long. <laughs> I don't want you to know what I'm really thinking, but I'll be I'll be authentic with you. It's just up to you to figure out what I am. So let me guess then. Think about that. I already got it. So that means when you're so when you're being honest, it's when you want to be a dick. But when you're being nice, it's basically you, be, you being fake. Did I say no, that right? not really, because I'm a dick sometimes when I'm in a thing. I'm getting lost with what I said. Isn't that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> you said no, you're saying that his honesty. You're saying his honesty is when he's a dick, and then when he's nice, that's when he's being oh, okay, fake, yes, 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 basically. Yes, yes, yes. And he's saying no. No. I can be honest when I'm a dick and nice. Is basically what he just said. I just don't find, dude. There's so many fake people. Sorry, guys. There's so many fake people. I'm like. I don't have time for that. I don't want that. I don't want to be that. Just be, just be you. And I think let it's me. important <laughs> that you think like that. Oh. <laughs> Why not? What do you, homegirl? You're not talking much. <laughs> what, do you, what do you feel? Would you rather? Do you think? I do think though, because of social media and everything, that people do put a fake kind of screen in front of them. Are you different as an actor than you are in real life? Yes. Fuck that, that was so fast too. It was so fast. Like I want to know why. Let me ask that question again. Are you the same person on camera? I was. Gonna... Hold on. Are you the same person, authentic person on camera, as you are in real life? And if so, why the fuck are you playing movies? I was gonna say no. I was gonna say it's just me. But when she was like, "Yes, yes. you're acting," so you act you're completely acting. different. Like your acting, characters are completely is different. Is acting just an extension of you, your real life, your everyday life? Because if it is, why the fuck are you acting? Because if it is, why not act? If I well, could bring a point, it, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not judging you. I'm just simply bringing up a point. So this is what she I. She had a very quick. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I know. You know. So in Driver, let's talk about Driver. It's like one of the later ones I did, and I know she saw it, so I want to talk about that. Um, so. I didn't want to act in it, but I got forced. So the character is somebody that's been cheated on and then has kind of like girl issues. And that's why he couldn't see that girl was part of the plan in the back. You get what I mean? No. Now you've completely lost you, me. I you, thought I knew what the no, freak the movie do, was you about. Do, but now. that was just, that, that was like a, a, a character, like if he's such a badass and he was so on top of all, all of it, why couldn't he see... This is like way like getting deep into okay. me. You got the overall more I than did. a lot of people. But uh, like, why wouldn't he have questioned that person in the back? If he was such a badass, even you were like, dude, that character is pretty badass. Why didn't he, why did he fall for that? Oh, that's true. Okay. You get what I mean? Okay, I got you. It's because he has girl issues. But why, why what, would, why the would the girl issues be the reason that he didn't make a smart move? What did you fall life? for? You got to tell a, him the story. Just a quick I, uh, 25 words or less, Charles. Go. <laughs> it's about. So this guy. <laughs> well, as as I knew like, he was uh, going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. I'll give it to you. Cool, yeah, like, go. Real fast. Okay, so this guy, this girl comes up. She's like, hey, we only have a couple minutes. They start having sex. Uh, she you never went, knew the guy? Just picked him out of a lineup? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this Obviously, is his like. Together. Oh, okay. So they have a built -in no, it does not look like they're together. It looks like she's using him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right but to him, but they're in a relationship. He thinks but to that her. that's her. Uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. okay, okay, yeah, they're in a it relationship. Does. Her he boyfriend knows. and he girlfriend. Thinks. He thinks he wants to be with her. God damn, Leo, that's not <laughs> even the point, dude. He, look, he's having Why sex with so this girl. <laughs> <laughs> you want to smoke? <laughs> Please. <laughs> This so, is the weirdest podcast. You're off. You haven't smoked all week. And I'm just sitting back. You're doing super good. I'm quiet because you guys 
are like on one today. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. Don't, don't look at your you look at that, dude. Where is she? Are you being authentic, dude? <laughs> I'm proud of her. Look, she's like this wow. close away from her two. It's almost two. That's great. So, uh, so they are ha- they have sex, right? <clears throat> and then uh, consensual. <laughs> just, just hey, you know, go. when you watch it, you're not quite sure because he's just sitting there and she just attacks. So you're not quite so sure if it's what he wanted. Pretty much, that's what it looks yes. like. Okay. Oh yeah, no, for sure. that makes a big difference. Oh yeah, it was her. Okay. So then, the, and she says, "I don't got much time." It's like, come on, dude, wow. you better. That is being used. Yes. Mm-hmm. So he's being used. So does does he have low self esteem? Yes. Oh, you can definitely see that in the movie. <laughs> Where, where do you get that in the movie? <laughs> You're just taking stabs now. No. She's just taking stabs. No. I was trying to get really? out of my time. <laughs> no, really, that's exactly the impression I got. Super not confident whatsoever. Just like, yep, gonna do what she says when she says it. Wow. That's not exactly confident? what that's exactly what the character is. Fair is that right. not exactly how it was? I'm gonna do what she wants when she wants. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So so then the phone starts ringing. Wait a minute. So you're playing that part in the movie? Yes. The guy? Mm-hmm. How'd you like it? <laughs> I hated it. Um, I felt very comfortable. I felt very comfortable filming the scene because it was uh, another good friend of mine. It's always like me, Mike, and her. She's yeah. a really good friend for years. Um, Can I ask you one question before you go on? Remember what he's trying to say. Um, the movies that you do, is it easier if you can relate to them on a personal level? Or... or <laughs> or can you just pick that, that's what we were getting to right because you were saying know. if i'm always authentic <laughs> and real yes. okay yeah, yeah yeah here we go <laughs> here we go here we go it's gonna wrap around i just haven't got to because you're stuck on this here scene. we go so uh the phone starts ringing okay so she she leaves and uh this is uh, after sex yes i put on my shirt the phone rings i answer it and the guy's like hey the deal's about to go down we need you to show up so the driver i'm the driver what deal you exactly, don't, you, you don't, don't know. know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I like to know about the whole movie. You will. It okay. just hasn't. It's only a twelve-minute movie. You can watch That's it. it. Yeah. No, so no, 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 no. It's like started. eight minutes. Oh, well. and it's taking this long. Got it confused with one of the other ones that I watched. Even stuck on a sex scene. <laughs> the sex scene's only ten seconds in the movie. <laughs> okay, really? If you would just sort of told me that. <laughs> It was really quick. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. That's all. That's all it takes. Jesus. <laughs> so uh, did she have an orgasm? Oh, God. Did you please her or not? <laughs> she you doesn't know, look like it. <laughs> you'll find out probably right now. Okay. No, that's not what. But so, the phone goes off. The deal comes. The phone uh, went off, but you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go. The, a garage opens, and he's like, "Hey, I got you this car. It's a super like basic car. Nobody will." suspect you or anything he throws me the keys he says hey be careful garage door closed the driver starts driving but then he sees his girl with another man okay that part i really did get confused on Mm -hmm. he's just stalking her he's stuck on her but she's not she's using him that's to let you know what is she walking up the stairs with another guy Mm -hmm. in another guy's arms Mm -hmm. kissing him Mm -hmm. and takes him into i don't know her house or his house Mm -hmm. i did couldn't tell yeah it doesn't matter okay just so you you were leaving mm -hmm. you saw her it's just to let you know that he's stuck on her and she don't give a fuck. Got it, got it, got it. You know? So then the guy, so then he's just like staring at her like, you, not, not even you bitch, he's hurt. You know, like, and then out of nowhere, the next scene comes up with the guy like, driver, snap out of it. So he's like, okay. And then, and then you see these other guys carrying this girl with the bag over her head. They throw her in the car. No, when they're driving to the spot, they're kind of letting the audience know what's going to happen. And they're like, hey, so remember, Remember the plan, and we'll be five hundred thousand dollars richer. Oh, wow. and he's like, uh, yeah, there's five of us. And then what's his name? He's like, no, dude, there's four of us. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, four. And the driver's like trying to keep count of everybody and everything. They pull up to the spot. There's two guys waiting for them, and they throw a bag of money. So then they get out of the car. They take the girl with them. And the driver stays behind, and he's smoking a cigarette. Another- because he wanted to smoke, he needed to smoke probably, and that's why he wanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then uh, the guy comes back. One of the guys come back while the deal's happening. And you see, so you're focusing on the driver now and the guy that came back. But in the background, you can see them doing the deal. The driver grabs the guy and starts choking him. And uh, and then everybody starts getting shot over there by by the guy that was in the car with the girl. Are you still with me? Because mm-hmm. this is where, okay, explaining <laughs> it sounds like it's getting confusing. The guy puts the girl in the car and then the driver and the main guy start getting in a fight. 
and he's kicking the driver's ass. But then the driver starts winning. And when the driver starts winning, the girl gets out of the car, takes the bag off her head, grabs the gun, and shoots the driver and says, like, remember, there was five of us in the car. And then it cuts to credits. Because the driver basically kicked everybody's ass and he was I don't know I didn't I thought he was trying to save the girl and then she was kind of like you just fucked the whole plan up driver and shot him Mm -mm, I think he was going to take the money (laughs) so what he does you gotta redo this (laughs) what he does why did she shoot you because he was kicking her friends' asses Mm -hmm. the ones that were holding her so here here she was a part of it there's a couple stories going on so in the driver's story this is what him and the, the mechanic that was in the garage do He's a professional driver. He's like a works for Hitman. Like, hey, I'll drive you. You do your dirty shit. Oh yeah. You pay me some of it. He's a getaway driver. He's a getaway driver. That's it. So I was gonna get paid half of the money. But what I think what the plan would have been, he was gonna take all the money. So that's the driver's story. Now the bad guy's story in the car was they were gonna they were supposed to trade the girl for the money because they say something about that in there. I think I'm just really trying to change it. I'm really trying to pay attention. Well, wait a minute. They're like, we're going to trade the girl for the money. But what they were going to do was keep the girl, kill them, and take the money as well. But it was just two bad plans that happened at once. My bad plan and their bad plan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And you died in this movie? Did I? It's playing into your phobia, isn't it? No, I, I don't think I died because we've did, we've wrote a oh, so couple. She different... shot you. Uh huh. But you haven't. We haven't determined if you died from that. It was no so, movie ends right there. The movie ends. ends. Oh, yeah. you're leaving it up for our yeah. own interpretation. So I'll let you guys know right now because we'll probably never make it. So some of the ideas were that it starts right from the car taking off and you just see blood everywhere and I'm starting to crawl. So you're like, oh, he's still alive, and then it cuts to a new driver. The the guy in the garage has a new girl driver that's madly obsessed and in love with the old driver, but the old driver hasn't been found since then. And that's all I'll say. We had a cool idea for the second one, but I don't think it would ever, it's never gonna happen. And who, who's gonna determine that it's never gonna happen? Probably me, oh. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'd have to cut my hair, get in shape. <clears throat> I was really skinny in that role. Let's see. Lost a whole bunch of weight for that. Cause I had a sex scene. I had to starve myself. I'm not actually. I'm supposed to play Joker pretty soon, so I'm gonna have to starve myself like mega. You're, you're gonna want to smoke so much. When you're I know starving. that's what I usually do. Yeah, just smoke like smoke, crazy. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I think I'm gonna film it in like weeks, like two weeks, three weeks. Oh no, your mind's blowing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna be fun. It took me about I don't know five years maybe more before I actually stop thinking about smoke all the time. Five too. years, Leo. What are you doing today, dude? Just got, trying to be real, baby. I'll say <laughs> I thought you, you said like, you're fake. Be fake, dude. Well, maybe I'm me fake. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. It took me about five years before. It just, I never thought about it anymore. I, uh, I used to like to see people smoking I, and, and early on, and I just that made me want to smoke right away. Whenever I see somebody else, does that happen to you? When you wait a minute, else? I'm so sorry. The parts I pay, play have to be parts I can relate to because then I'm not acting, it's just a piece of me. So then you've never done a part or a movie where you couldn't relate to it mm-hmm. on some level. Mm-hmm. I would think that'd be easier to, to act, but I think maybe a real actor. I'm not saying that a real. <laughs> I'm actor. not a real actor, but I'm saying a real seasoned actor. They mm-hmm. can probably take yeah anything, anything right? Anything and just for sure. Turn it and into make you something. believe that that's mm-hmm. just hard to do. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. I'm act. amazed at that. I just can't find actors, or I would never act. I want to be behind the camera. That'd be something I would love to do. Be able to act. Mm-hmm. You and take that, acting and classes to, and, and stuff. To be, yeah, and and to be that, and to make it seem like people just. Because I watch these movies sometimes and I think I really believe what I'm seeing. It seems so real. Mm-hmm. And it's just acting. But That's it's a amazing. but it's a lot more. It's like the editing, it's the music, all of that brings it to me. Because and you could have a really good actor and the story's bad, the music's bad, and, true. And, and you don't feel nothing. True. It's like it's all of it. Yeah. What about you, homegirl? Can you act? I've never tried. Look at those eyebrows and everything. She could act. Look at that. <laughs> I've never tried. I mean, I 
played when I was a kid. That's acting. Mm -hmm. I played outside by myself, pretending I was driving on my bicycle and being like, an adult. That's not acting. Yeah, that's, that's acting. acting. That's and I, that's actually de uh, developing your your personality. Yeah, but she, I think she means she was playing. That's the closest. For yeah, and, and I talked to invisible is. people and stuff. Yeah, I'm a little. It's closest I've gotten acting. Pretty sure it was very convincing though. If somebody was watching me out in the backyard, I'm pretty sure it was like she has like ghost friends. Do you think you could cry? I think you could cry. I could see it in you. <laughs> I think she'd be a good actress. Oh my gosh. I she don't think like I could cry. Leo, who did you say you could, could cry? Could you can cry? Can you cry? Oh, he's gonna start doing it right now. Watch. Can you? No. Do you think you can or no? I, can, I really don't think just so. Just show me a, but like a, when I'm watching like Glassy or one of those you know, shows, like American Idol backstory, mm -hmm. sobbing like an idiot. You are? Fuck yeah. Dude, I cry. To the point where I don't want to watch it anymore. The Flash, uh, season one, the last episode, when he goes back with his mom. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Did you cry? No. You didn't cry? Oh my God. Wait. When his mom is like, when he goes back and completely changes everything, and now no, he's with his no, mom. No, no, no. That was season two. Season one is when the whole season you're waiting for him to go back in time so you can save his mom. He he finds out a way to go back in time, and when he gets there, his future self stops and is like, "Don't do it." And I was like, "No, I didn't cry. <laughs> no, I didn't cry." Dude, no, it wasn't even that bad. I was like the ugly girl chain and everything. I was like what is devastated. The ugly? What's okay. The, what's the ugly? Girl you've seen an ugly girl cry <laughs> you know when they're just like and you're like dude calm the fuck down that's that's the worst thing you can say the calm ugly the girl. fuck down yeah i know don't tell me to calm the fuck down <laughs> see you know what i'm talking about yeah. yeah the ugly girl cry they all have it no but um his girl what's her name i'm blanking right now Iris? yeah something happens to her in one of the seasons i think you haven't finished them right so i don't know if you know Savitar? yeah that mm -hmm. one mm-hmm I cried too. I bawled my eyes out like no other. And my son even cried. <laughs> I was like, this is and crap. Like, uh, oh my God, dude, I'm about to get goosebumps because <laughs> so once again, he went into the future and he saw that his wife gets killed. You can't say this when people miss it. People are spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> it's like five years old. If you haven't Still. seen it, you're not watching. It. Uh, so <laughs> he goes in the future, sees that his wife gets killed. So when he went back to his time, they're doing all this stuff to try to stop it from happening. And they think they came up with this grand plan. So they go back to the spot that it's supposed to happen and they do the plan and it fails. And he's like, oh my God. Like when you see it in his head, like it's not going to work. I was like, oh my God, I it's not going to work. Man. <laughs> it's not going to work, dude, you're fucked. And then, uh, and then I hate, I don't know why this always gets to me. So the bad guy is holding the wife and he's, it's when the bad guy is talking to, so like act like I'm holding her and you guys are together. It's when the bad guy's talking, but you guys are talking to each other. Like the guy's not, you know what I mean? When he's like, oh God, I don't know. It's okay, it, it was sad. And then he stabs her. What What's that uh, movie um, with Scarecrow? It's not Alice in Wonderland. Uh, it's okay, Sadie. It's okay. No, we can pause real quick, can't we? Yeah. Let's pause real quick, because I don't know who it is. Who would be that? Batman? No. What? My sister. She can't. Oh, we didn't put the podcast in session. No, you're like, you gotta go back. No, but nobody told me what was happening. It's your sister? Yeah. It's nothing like you. Oh, you saw her? Mm -hmm. She does when she pulls her hair back straight. She looks like her. I've seen her now. You're a liar. That's not You've seen me now, what, with my hair pulled, pulled back? Straight back? I've seen her no makeup, just down, like, hey, this is me. You're a liar. No, mm -hmm. not hair down, hair back. Hair back. He means like pulled backwards, like, all the way pulled back. I don't know. Each other. Are we back on? Yeah, now we're back there on. We Ready, set, and okay. go. Batman. No. Dorothy. Was the, oh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. That one makes me cry. What? That one doesn't. There's Stra nothing in there. Yeah, Straw Man. Or what's his name? Scarecrow. Mm, Scarecrow. Yeah. I feel feel sorry for that motherfucker. <laughs> what? When he gets torn apart? Well, he's getting always shit on, right? I mean, I, I haven't 
watch the movie in a long, long, either, long years. I've watched it, it several times, and every single time I cry. Have you seen uh, Interstellar? Oh, God! <laughs> Apparently she has. <laughs> that one is like, oh, just, just, just kill me now. How many times did you have kill to watch now? it? The first time I watched it, I was the only one in the theater. It was a group of us, group four of us that went in. As soon as we got in the car, everybody was like, I do not get that movie. And I did not cry. And I was like, what? That movie, like, I, I cried the first time, but the more I've watched it, I'm like, yeah, what? It's good. Christopher Nolan, go tonight and just watch anything by him. You have to watch all his movies like a hundred times. Not because they're so bad. You have to keep on watching it to understand. He's too fucking smart of a filmmaker. He is fucking He's smart. He's a filmmaker, not an mm-hmm. actor. What's his no. name? Christopher Nolan. Okay. He's so interstellar made me, oh my God, when he's like, Is it science fiction? Make me stay, Marv. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. science, yeah. science fiction? I need a minute. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. It's science fiction. Yeah. Right? I'm authentic though. I can't fake it. It's got to be real. I have a crying scene coming up when I can't cry. So what are you going to do? Did you ever see a movie called Never Say You're Sorry? Something like that? can't think of the chick's name. Mm-mm. I cried in the theater. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I couldn't even leave. That's funny. I had to stay in the theater. We because can... you're still going? Never what? Never say you're sorry. So, we could, we're bitches when it comes to movies, but we can't cry in real life. What does that mean? I don't know. No, I'm not seeing nothing. You're not? Mm-mm. Let me put film. Maybe something will come up. So sad. Is it an old <laughs> film? Oh, it's an old film. I was in high school, 72, 73. This one? Love story. That's the one. In Dude. that, you know, there's a line in this that says, you never, you never, or you should never have to say you're sorry, something like that. Love story. Mm-hmm. Love means never having to say sorry. Very sorry. Well, now we have to watch it. That shit. I can't watch that shit. That shit that. blew me up. That's just the cover of it. Why can't you watch They're it? They're real actors. Because exactly? you know it's already going to look old as fuck. So? So what's wrong with old movies? It's hard to watch nowadays. They're they're everything about it. The camera is not as good, and if you don't even want to get there, the editing's different. Um, nowadays, they know because of social media and everything, our movies are fucking moving fast. Like, hey, you need a you need a beat, you need a beat, you need a beat. That sounds, Those movies are slow. I know, and you know what? The movies that are still slow and and episodes that are still slow are BB the BB BBC movies, BBC episodes. Have you ever watched those? Compared to Americans? Oh, like the British shit? Yeah. No. It's well, all, uh, sometimes, it's all very sometimes. slow. Sometimes. It's all very slow. It takes a while to get used to it. Mm-hmm. I try to just so like being an editor and in, in, in all this, I kind of try I to. Ha- I happen to really like that. It's a the office, it's a different pace. Mm-hmm. You get into the story in a different way, but it's much slower. And they develop stuff slower in the, in the movie, the pace of it. Is it have anything to do with just our, our as, is it an American thing? Mm-hmm. Is it just because of how we are wired now with things have to be fast and... I think so. They know our attention spans our just attention got span, yeah. worse over time. Yeah. Kind of sad. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that crying scene. I really don't. Just put onions underneath. I've thought about doing some like... And then the, you'll you just know, start crying because it'll hurt so bad. Mm-hmm. You know what makes me cry? Seriously, I can do it on demand if I pull a nose hair out with oh. a tweezer. Fucking shit makes my eyes water. The only thing that sometimes... But can you do that on camera? You can just do it before, right? Wait, hold on. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's Roll. like positive thoughts about my kids will get me choked up. But I'm like, I can't... What's happening is somebody's dying. Oh, God, it goes back to that phone. Why don't you just pretend that it's somebody you care about? Because, like, I like, I don't know. It wouldn't work. Are you sure? Have you tried it? Like, picture it being one of your kids. Yeah, but like, I don't know, because I know it's not happening. Though. I know, you get what still, I mean? I'm it's just hard. saying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys will find out. You're going to be in it, both of you guys. At that part? No. We're going to be there watching? Hell no. Yes. Hell no. We're going to have, I already told Mike, it's going to be small ass set. Like whoever's film, the cameraman and whoever's acting, period. Oh. Yeah, it's like there ain't, because usually we have a lot of people around hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Like we're just, you know, there's a group of us, so they yeah. come hang out and have fun. But that, I was like, nah. Like, it's going to be... Are we going to do like a... Are we going to... Once it's the thing is made, are we going to go on a junket? Do a whole bunch of... Uh, do a junket? Hopefully. Sometimes. I don't know. Some When some, when things hit, like Wolverine, 
uh, me and Fredo and all of us got to the Batman stuff. Yeah. Usually in the superhero things, people will want to talk about it. So maybe. Is that what they call it? A junket? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of that? Like, mm -hmm. an, like an interview. Oh. But like, yeah. Like about, you go on different shows mm -hmm. and promote the movie. But what do they call it? A junket? I don't know. I always wondered about that. Yeah, I don't know. Usually when we do superhero things, though, people, it's funny because people are always like, why, why do you do superhero things? Like, why don't you do your own shit? And like, we do do our own shit. You just don't hear about it. That's why we kind of do the superhero things. Those yeah. things always blow up, like, a lot bigger. I want more people watching. That should be the point, right? I guess. So you please, it depends on what your goal is. My goal is to get more people watching. Yeah. Then, then it is. Because then yeah, hopefully that will transfer over to. Then your yourself. crying scene has to be on point. You got to grab the emotions of the Why people. That's gonna, that? Then that's going to be the thing that makes people want to share it. You don't have to necessarily like cry tears to be crying. No, but... yeah. Just yeah. really oh, yeah? make them mean? feel oh, yeah. it with you. She's saying, yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think as long as you get the vibe, like, fuck, that yeah. guy's broken. Yeah. You can see facially how torn up. <laughs> I don't know, though. When Will Smith cries, makes you cry too how does he cry no it's not when he cries i know you're talking about that scene and the, he about, cries but it wasn't it, that, the tears don't fall but the no, eyes no, no. water it wasn't no what i'm saying is that what what broke you on that scene wasn't that he was crying it's, he was so excited that he was crying that's a whole different tears cry. Of joy. Yeah, yeah i think what it is is well, maybe it's just the building up to it uh -huh. because before he even cries you want to cry of excitement mm -hmm. from what just happened mm -hmm. have you seen that movie which one? Uh, you didn't even tell the movie. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called again? The Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah. Pursuit of Happiness. I think so. Was he a homeless guy? Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Basically, yeah. With his kid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good movie. I, I don't think Hollywood is like, I don't think anybody's making really good movies anymore. No, bullshit. Interstellar was probably the last really good no, one I saw. Bullshit. Bullshit. I hate when people it's say either that. that. No, it's either that or no. my tastes have changed so much. I used to be, I used to go to uh, sometimes two movies in a night. I'd go watch, I'd, I'd go to a movie knowing when there were two of them I wanted to watch. And I'd watch them both in the same movie. That's fun. I would want to do that. I'd just go from one to the other. Mm -hmm. I've but done that a anymore. Times, so and maybe it's just really? because of my age. I, um, think, I don't think there's anything that's worth seeing at mm -hmm. all. There's a lot. I can give you a lot. I hate, hate, nothing hate original, name two. Nothing original. I think the actors are weak. Okay, that's name what I was two. gonna say. Wait a minute, before we get, remind me that, because I will. So people a lot, I don't know, let's just, I don't want to hear that. So don't a lot of what? people, like, uh, I want to just hear you guys like this. Oh. A lot of people always tell me, Hollywood ran out of ideas. It did. There's nothing original. All they're doing is superhero stuff. Right now, in today's time, not 2020, that don't count. 2019. <laughs> this is the most time ever in Hollywood have we had the most original movies ever. Name one. No, 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 no. Not like, not like that. Like, as in, we have like 25,000 movies coming out a year. Yeah, now, that that's not our fault if certain people aren't watching everything. Like, you're, you, like, people will be like, all there is is superhero movies. I'm like, watch something else. There's like 25,000 other movies coming out a year. That's only you. I think it's because they only see the remakes. ones in theaters. There's other. So they don't make it in theater. Yeah, Hollywood's lost its glamour. In Hanford, they almost, they'll, they'll play like one screen of something like a blockbuster. Everything else is smaller movies. Go watch those. There's tons. There's tons of movies. It's not glamorous movies. anymore. Like, you like okay. Back let me, in the uh, Marilyn Monroe days. And... How new do you want? Since Senator Stellar, you're I'll saying? say a movie that's a great movie. I just want to say, guys, we're going about an hour and a half. I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> the movie was Al Pacino. And he's a drug dealer. Pulp Scarface? Fiction. No. What's Scarface. St Scarface. Godfather? No, Scarface. Those are good, great movies. Scarface, those kinds Godfather, of movies. Marathon Man. Those are some real fucking actors. There aren't any anymore. Yeah, there is. Name one. <laughs> name one. I'm going to name a movie right now. Ex Machina. Have you guys seen Ex Machina? No. Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, because it's a small movie, but that's you have to you have to work to watch other movies. Where, where the fuck are the actors in this shit? <laughs> Film. Present through your nose, out through your mouth. <laughs> Is that all you, you can? I mean, who's Oscar the actress in it? Oscar Isaac's one. Hmm. 
for a while long. <laughs> um, it's a really good movie. A great movie. You should see me doing. He's going so fast. He's trying to find it. I'm so trying fast. to find it fast because I know, like, we're just 2005. When did that movie come out? It's so sure notable. You don't it know. Oh, here it is, right here. This is a super good movie. Yeah, super good is not great. It's just super good. No, it's great. You want to I definitely great movie? don't remember Legends that being advertised. Fall. You want to know a great it movie? It was Legends a, it was of a, the Fall. It was a smaller movie. Legends of the Wolf Fall. Wolves of Wall Street. That wasn't a great movie. It was a good movie. Legends oh, wow. of the Fall. Anthony Hopkins. These are real actors. The Wolf of Wall Street. That's it. That has Leo. That's a really good movie. It's it's a good movie. It's not a great movie. Okay. Legends of the you Fall is a great movie. Yet. Scarface is a great movie. Interstellar. No, Interstellar I would Scarface is a good movie. Scarface and all those movies you're saying. I probably would too. I probably I love Scarface. Too. I grew up on Scarface, but Interstellar would kick its ass. But I think that's a different type. Like Interstellar is more about the galaxy and the universe and things that we might not understand that are actually out there. That's a whole different that's thing. Better. Yeah, and that's drugs. why that's why we like it. But mm -hmm. if that's not his cup of tea, then it's not going to be. Yeah, but his okay, cup then of tea. you can't say that nothing in Hollywood's good. It's, you just don't want to like it. I, I admitted that maybe it's my age. Uh, you should watch Interstellar. No. You should. It has, um, you like the character that's in it, Matthew McConaughey? I like him. Yeah, he's the main character. And then his daughter is. Um, I gotta watch shit that's real. I know that you would like her because I'm pretty sure you've watched I, something like that. I can't with her watch shit that's not real. What do you mean? It is real. Phony. No, 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 this is real. He's uh, He works for NASA and he goes off and um, goes off into space. Is it based on real events, true events? Yeah. And no, the world, no, 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 it it's space. Be. It, it could be, be. like that's so you, you, really could she, happen to our life. You ask if she can lie. Scarface ain't no true story. Is Hell it? yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck yes, it no, is. so you're yeah, telling me that you're telling me that a hundred years from now, our atmosphere, what the help me. <laughs> what happened in that movie again? So they basically they, uh, there's they start to have dust storms where I mean the dust storms are really bad. The weather is really bad and it's gonna start start killing people. They can't breathe the air. You can't pick your job anymore either. It's yeah. Either so you have to leave a... you have to leave Earth. Like they can't like totally live fake. no it's it it's could happen. happen. Like two hundred years gonna happen. down exactly. You can't say that. It's definitely we're killing our world. You have to watch it. We don't want it. to go in this talk, do we? Yeah. We're, we're just our, our world is a lot more uh, resilient. <laughs> a lot more resilient than we are. We're way faster. Yeah. Oh, no. It's we're, not going to be, not gonna not gonna be in your time or my time. But we're it's, not going to kill gonna our happen. World. Humans aren't that strong. We're, They're not we're, that capable. We're destroying it right now. We're destroying it. It might become a, 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 a valley instead of ocean. Just natural evolution. But we're not going to kill it. Okay, the point is, is what this movie, no, stop. stop. Wait, wait, what planet did they just go on? And they're like, oh, we're pretty sure we just found out that there was life on it. Moon. No, it wasn't the moon. <laughs> it was like a planet, like a like a planet we just went to. Isn't a moon a planet? I thought the moon was a star. I'll edit this bitch out. If I like see it <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the moon a star? It's a planet. Look that fucking bitch out. Anyways. So what they do There's is no as any NASA, bad grammar. anyway, NASA sends off five astronauts. Each one goes to a different planet to see if they, if it can be Basically, somewhere. Basically the moon is neither a star nor a planet. <laughs> what is it? Oh, come on, man. Ask it the right question. Is the moon a planet? Look, it's not, it's telling the me. The moon is a astronaut. What is it? Do you have a tissue? Are you going to cry? I think it's a lot like the sun. Here, I don't want to is the it. hey, you hey, one of those freaks. you guys, is the sun a planet yes. or a star? Planet. Well, I think it's, I don't know, it really says that it's not a, it says it's not a planet or a star. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> no fucking idea. By the Earth side and rotates with us. Yeah. It's not none. It's not none. It's none. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Legends of the Fall. Great movie. Real. Oh my god. I was saying nothing. This? Real. Anthony Hopkins. Uh, Sylvester Stallone's brother Frank Stallone, I believe. Brad Pitt. Great movie. So you only want to watch real movies? Yeah, they mean more. It's authentic. Wow. 
What is not a real movie to you? Give me an example. Interstellar, you know where we get to call this. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't believe that our planet could get so bad one day? No. I that they may have to send astronauts to other planets to see if humans can live on those planets. They're only going to go to do that kind of shit for warfare. That's all. Okay, so warfare, that could happen with warfare, but it's still Nobody's gonna go legitimate. So you're watching them go through this, and this is all real life stuff. This is what astronauts have to do. This is how they live. This is the conditions they live in, and you're watching all of it. It's not fake whatsoever in those areas. And then you can't say, I mean, they say that there's little orbits. Who's they? Uh, everyone, oh. Google it. <laughs> People Google. say they things say. like, oh, there's this tunnel no, that you can go through. Somebody else, like no, Trump. there's tunnels you can go through. You're the one that said it, uh, one of the podcasts so you when it. you were saying, maybe Told we're you. not really here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they kind of go around that way of, like, how do you explain that? You can't explain it because it's fake, for fuck's sake. No, I, I agree with everything she's saying. You have to watch it. You would you would watch it and then you'd be like, Let me see. Oh, "Wow, that makes me kind of wonder a little bit more about our world and what we don't know and what they're keeping from us." Like that. What the fuck? What happened? Jamie, what have you found? Who the hell is Jamie? <laughs> it's Rogan's assistant. Oh, <laughs> he goes to him all the time. Jamie, can you pull that up? Are you looking for a good movie, Charles? Legends of the Fall. A failing Earth puts humanity on the brink of extinction. Why though? I want to see because it was like a good. I'm assuming you're gonna edit all of this out, right? All this dead silence. <laughs> well, you guys can still be talking. <laughs> no, you guys are gonna make my job hard. So you're either a pilot or a farmer, and they they decide. What? They decide if you become a pilot or a Who's farmer. They? The government. There's dust storms caused by the climate change, the fake climate change. Oh shit, you're one of those. You don't think there's climate change going on? Of course there is. And it fluctuates he, all the time. Why did you say fake? It's fake. You I just mean, said there is. Is, is it fake or is there? It just normally changes. That's a, a part of what the climate does. It changes. You it's know, not changing <laughs> to the point where we're all gonna die from it. You know, when I was growing up, my birthday was always rainy. You know yeah, when my changes. birthday is? Yeah. May 1st. Yeah. Always rain. It changes. You know what it is now on May 1st? Always like 452 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> the climate changes. It's going to do that. If you go, if you take a look at how much the climate has changed, it's very small. It's very limited. This is all bullshit. It's all conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory? And they get to you young ones that are you guys can't think for yourselves <laughs> you just you just believe whatever you're being told you gotta question that shit i think i go by i have to see it to believe it in my birthday i never had no birthday so you rainy. think oh so you think that is what constitutes climate change i know i know our climate has changed of course it has but i mean to the extent that they're talking about like it's going to be dreadful they they say it's going to be like we need to do something. No, actually, they say, "Hey, we've already. You guys, we try to warn you. You're fucked. Good luck, because none none of you guys wanted to listen. We're we're past. So it's just it's too wow, late. Wow, this is gloom and doom, man. <laughs> Why are you gonna quit smoking? If we're doomed Why? anyway, I don't I don't think it's gonna be in my time. I don't. What what gives you that impression? I don't think it's how are you coming up with that conclusion charles i can't see it going that far left and 
I'm probably gonna die in like 20 more years. But how do you come up? With <laughs> wow. <laughs> in my 50s, for sure. I mean, my 40s. <laughs> Whatever that age is, you know, somewhere around there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think, I really think it will be the world falling apart or machines. Machines? Machines, straight Terminator. You seen Terminator or is that too fake for you? <laughs> I actually saw Terminator. Did you Only like it? Only because I like Arnold at that time. Mm -hmm. You don't like him anymore? No. As a he, person he or as an actor? Soft. Oh, okay. he's old. He's a little mad. He was soft. He's done his stuff. Dude, I... Growing up, I know everybody was super into Arnold. I was like, eh. But the older I get, I fucking love Arnold. They told him, like, dude, you can't be an actor. No, I think, it, it's, as far as that goes, I think he's amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. everyone told him, like, you'll never be an right. actor. No, he's amazing that way. I agree. Tur Total Recall? I so watched I that movie, like, once a month. Fucking love that movie. I really like that back Oh, then. do you? It's super yeah. fake. Fucking yeah. <laughs> aliens on, on Mars. Truth. Get your ass to you Mars. Know, I'm, I'm true to myself, and I lie all the time, and sometimes I say the truth. It's just up to you to find out what it is, if you want. If you don't. I want to get back, since we didn't, I don't think we started the podcast, but we start our conversation on stories, comics. Uh -huh. I want to know why you don't like fake stories. I don't like to read. Okay, but I mean, even in movies, like Interstellar. Tell, tell him why you like fake stories. <laughs> just forget on the mic in my face. <laughs> we just talked about this, actually. That's why I was... Uh... Uh, I like fake stories because it's uh, I get to jump out of my world and... Yeah, see, I love else's. my world. I don't have to jump out of that shit. No, I <laughs> love my I world. <laughs> no, I love my world, too. I love my world. But I like to um, emotionally feel... Some, like somebody else's story. I think that's really interesting to be able to put myself in their feelings to the point that I'm crying when they're crying about something or I'm sad because they lost their dad who's a fake dad on TV. Like that kind of stuff. I like to feel, I like to keep my emotions in check like that. Gotta make sure I still have them. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about this because uh, Mike was asking me. So I was talking to her about it, but Mike was like, why do you like movies so much, man? And I'm like, I love getting out of this Escapism. shitty world. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a different world. We're storytellers as humans. We've always been. We always will be. When the world comes to an end and a new planet does some new humans, they'll start telling stories too. Or creatures, whatever they are. The world's not going to come to an end. You are. The world's not. It will eventually. No, it won't. It will. It will not. It will. It hasn't yet. But it will. We don't know that. What if like, what she was saying, what I said earlier, what if this is all fake and someone's already died and someone's just playing the game? What if we're like avatars of ourselves? You don't know. We don't know. What's Avatar? Oh, my God. <laughs> is it a movie? I don't think, yeah, he has to mm. see a movie to know what an avatar but is. But like, you know, like something you're controlling. Like Basically, the, what an avatar would be is your body is in another room in a machine covered up in water and you are a fake person right Jesus, now. Jesus, no wonder you guys are doing weed. Dude, you don't. Okay, so uh, let's let's do this. Are we gonna do this? This is like a long one. Okay. I just feel like. You know where I used to hear that it was when I was bouncing. You want to do this? Let's do this. How old? How old is the planet? I have no idea. Very old. It's old. Very old. And it's evolved over and over, lots of times. What are oceans used to be valleys and deserts, and vice versa. That's just the way it is. 4.543 billion years. Yeah, and you think that fucking humans are going to take it out? You got to be shitting me. If it's that old, though. So you're, that's how fucking narcissistic you think you are. Or you are. You think so passionate about it. That's how narcissistic you are. You think that the humans are going to... A fucking Earth spin around for, what is it, 4.3 billion? And you think it could just keep on lasting forever? The Earth can? Absolutely. Nothing lasts forever. The Earth does. It has. Nothing 4. does. Billion. Nothing. 4.3 billion. There's no such thing as in forever. How can you say that? Because there's not. How long has the Earth been around? A lot longer than humans. A lot longer. And I bet space has been around longer. I don't want you to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, it won't be here. Other planets get destroyed all the time. Okay, so I'm not really upset. <laughs> That's how narcissist you are to think that the planet 
because we're on it will last forever. There's other planets just that. Let me get your response, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I'm just trying to make you react. My uh, dad used to this shit to me all the time. Why are you doing this? I just want to see you react. We've seen like other planets do get destroyed. Care. I don't care. I no, like no, Sadie, no, no. I like how no, Sadie no. keeps going back and forth <laughs> between you two right now. Like really I'll care. I'll be your support right now. Oh, I'll be your support right now. Yeah, she's, it, it she's will. Not, um, One day. She's mostly supporting satellites or a little ship will come to earth and they'll be like oh my god there was life here at one time she said calm down <laughs> calm down Charles. I'm okay. she probably feels bad because she almost she just wants to get on camera off. she's a media bitch she's a media hog. she wants to be on camera it's okay sadie you just have to ask oh look at her <laughs> sadie speak up to the mic oh i'm good yeah we're all good it's just a little emotion. Anyway, how do you think this has been a great talk? I think the dog's done Don't with you think, it. Charles? Yeah, it was magical. <laughs> Wait, Charles, you seem like you're a little upset. This is your uh, favorite you podcast upset, ever? Do you hold grudges? Because I sure as hell do. No, I don't, no. <laughs> you don't? I'm very forgiving. Really? Mm -hmm. Like immediately? No, um, no, not immediately. But I could definitely forgive, like, no matter what. I've had shitty things happen to me, and I always forgive. People make mistakes. I think that's a good good quality in a human. Oh, so I got two. <laughs> Very important ones, though. Thank you. Dang. Yeah, this podcast is going to be fun to edit. You think so? Mm -hmm. Are you being authentic? No, because it's going to be really you, hard. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it going to be hard? Because there was like <laughs> distractions. The breaks, yeah. I this think there like was an echo at the beginning. Video. If you're like a legit editor, that's I know you're gonna make this really wow, you're reaching far over here. Charles, you just bitch slap me like that. <laughs> Charles, that would just seem like a real easy thing to piece, wouldn't it? What, what's gonna be so hard about it? It's is the content editing's not hard. It's, no, but it, I mean it, it in becomes, this case that you're talking being very specific. It becomes tedious. Especially when he has to sit there and watch, like if it's a two hour one. Uh-huh. I'm like he has to watch the whole thing and, and edit. I, and also it's not just like, let me just cut this out. Cause then we'll be like talking. Don't you just put like a we'll little, be talking and then I like Coca Cola. You get what I mean? <laughs> like I'll be like right here, like we're just talking. I like Coca Cola. I know, but they like, have, oh, that looks that ugly. That you put in that, that smooths it out. I did that a couple of videos way back when. What are you actually, talking about? I actually made some videos at the second business early on. I when they came in as raw footage. I rendered it. The footage. You guys would all just hit it, huh? Yeah. And I did. I did like two of them. What did you and do it, it on? And I, huh? What did you do it on? No idea. But there were these things. <laughs> Not that, a computer, though, huh? Yeah. Oh, on a computer? Yeah, I okay. put music in, the whole thing. Because I know, though, they've been doing films for so long. They used to, like, real edit, like, cut and paste and shit, right? Yeah. That's crazy. That's what I was doing. Yeah? Yeah, and the different lines. But not on computer, though. Computer is digital. That's easy. What was it on? Like, I'm talking, back in the day, you would get, like, the tape, and, like, you would actually, like, cut and paste oh. and shit. I don't know. I rendered. I remember rendering footage. Yeah, yeah. Yours was on computer. But, I thought it was pretty, but there, there are certain things that you could do to fade in, fade yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, wouldn't you do it now? Just like in the middle of our conversation in those parts? Because there are certain things that you're like, because does that want, work? Because yes. you want to make it creative and a good yes, something. Yes, yes, yes. Like when I see fade in, some fades out, and a lot of scenes, yeah. I'm like, they barely started editing. Yeah. I don't want to, some of my friends do that. So I'm trying to like watch what I'm saying. I found it very fascinating to do editing. Oh, I wish I could have uh, stayed with it longer to really get it to where it was like spread the tuna. Editing is pictures and video. <laughs> it's like the best thing you can do. I love it. Love it. You're over this, huh? She's uninspired. I have to pee again, and I don't want to get up and go around you. Is again. that what you did the first time? Yes. I couldn't. I held it as long as I could. Okay, well, I guess we'll call it then. We can call it then. Oh, God. So somebody's got to go pee. Because, yeah. She's got to hold her bladder. <laughs> no, bull crap. I know your kids need you. <laughs> oh, wow. so it's my fault. No, I mean, I know that no, you she's have She's really looking out for you. Oh. I know how it feels when you somebody's feel like, like, when, like I don't know how kid? your family is, but my family is the type of people. Hurry the fuck up, bitch, as soon as I get there. That's my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My it's family's like, cool. You said you'd be back in uh -huh. an hour. That's my family. Super cool, but yeah. Yeah, they like that mm -hmm. too. Okay. 
And I think it's not because they don't like our kids. It's just they really have their own life. Going Definitely on don't too. like my kids. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Yeah, good talk. Good talk. Thank <laughs> you.